Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn with Med Nuggets. In today's video, we are going to talk about paranoid personality disorder. According to the American Psychiatry Association, paranoid personality disorder falls under the cluster A personality disorders, which includes people with odd or eccentric behaviors. So now let's dive deep into this personality disorder. If you've ever felt like someone is out to get you, imagine feeling that way all the time. That is a glimpse into the life of someone with paranoid personality disorder. Paranoid personality disorder is characterized by a pervasive distrust and suspicion of others. People with paranoid personality disorder often believe that others are trying to deceive, harm, or exploit them even when there's little or no evidence to support these beliefs. Some common symptoms include constant distrust in people, where a person may believe that their colleagues are plotting against them without any evidence. They might interpret something as simple as a comment as a personal attack. Let's bring this to life with a relatable scenario. Say you're in a group chat and a friend shares a funny meme. A person with paranoid personality disorder might immediately think, oh, they are making fun of me. Number two, they misinterpret intentions. For example, say Jamie has plans to meet friends for dinner. When one friend texts to cancel, Jamie immediately assumes, they don't really want to be my friend anymore. Instead of reaching out to understand, she's going to feel hurt and isolate herself from the group, convinced she's been rejected. Number three, reluctance to share personal information. Let's say Kamal is in a new class and has the chance to make friends. However, when classmates ask about their weekend plans, Kamal becomes defensive and says, Why do you want to know? Kamal is scared to share any details as he's worried that he might be judged or ridiculed, so they keep to themselves. Number 4. Holding grudges Let's say Taylor had a disagreement with a co-worker over a project deadline a year ago. Instead of moving on, Taylor still brings up that incident whenever they interact, saying, I can't trust you after what happened that day with the project which can create tension and prevent any future collaboration with his co-workers. Number 5. Hypervigilance Jordan was invited to a party but spends most of his time watching others closely. When someone nearby laughs, he thinks, oh, they must be laughing at me. This intense focus on perceived threats leads Jordan to leave early feeling anxious and misunderstood. Number 6. Accusations of Infidelity Let's say Tyra is in a relationship and frequently suspects her partner of being unfaithful. When their partner is texting a friend, she feels a surge of jealousy and confronts them, asking, Who are you texting? I bet it's someone else. This suspicion can strain their relationship and create unnecessary conflicts. Number 7. Defensive reactions. Say, for instance, Davy receives feedback from their teacher about improving presentation skills. Davy is going to respond defensively, saying, You just don't like my ideas. This reaction alienates Davy from people who may have intended to help them grow. So, to sum up, this is a summary of all the characteristics of a person with paranoid personality disorder. Hope you learned something today. If you know someone struggling with a personality disorder, it's crucial to be supportive rather than judgmental. Personality disorders can be complex, but with understanding and compassion, we can make a difference. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Learn with Med Nuggets. Bye bye.